my favorite verse gotta be I did a song called uh, Talk About It and uh, the song was three verses. The first verse was the song was basically me reading letters from the first verse was my brother and sister. No, the first verse was my kids. Uh, the second verse was my brother and sister. And the third verse was me reading a letter from my mother and father, who I lost. You know what I'm saying? So I, it's, it's, it's out of them three, honestly. Yeah, it was some, some, some real touching shit, for real. So memorable studio moment for me is the first time they threw me in with Thug. Shit was crazy. Like, that's one of my, my life influences music-wise and everything. So when they put me in with Thug and the nigga act like he knew who I was, for real, for real, and he was telling me how Leo wanted him to uh, shoot one of my music videos and shit, that was crazy. Well, what made it so memorable with Thug was, you know what I'm saying, first of all, when we got there, he's been in there for like an hour and 30 minutes already, and in that hour and 30 minutes, he recorded 16 songs, you know what I'm saying, to the, boy, to the point where he was like, what's the next beat? And the engineer was like, nigga, ain't no more. Like, that's it. Like, you just did the last one. Like, shit was just crazy. Like, he worked like me. So, you know, I, I, I get in, get it done, and keep shit moving. A memorable studio moment for me had to be uh, linking up with Swiss Beats. And um, Alicia Keys walked in, and it's just like life itself stopped. And like, she just came in and was just vibing with us while we was working. And then she asked me to perform my single, Acapella, and she knew the words, and I almost shitted on myself. I wouldn't even know where to start. Swiss dropped a book on me that night. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, and he texts me right now and then with just words, like, of encouragement. Like, he, he's way beyond music, and that's how I wanna be, you know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't, I don't wanna do this shit forever. You know what I'm saying? Cause when it gets getting weirder and weirder and the weirder it gets, the less I want to do this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm scared to see where music gonna be in five years. Like, real shit. But um, yeah, man, he just, he, he, he doing this college thing, designing cars and crazy shit like that. And it's just, it's just perfect. Now he got me working with Reebok. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be crazy. Swiss, he basically said like, you know, it's, it's a million motherfuckers that come across or that he come across every day, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, niggas ain't special. Like, okay, you that's, that's a good song, you know what I mean, yada, yada, but you ain't flowing, like, and then you ain't got the creativity, it's not different, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, it's a million other views on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? He said he's seen something special, and he, he, he here. Anything we need, and now he, I mean, executive producing my, my, my project. Well, the one thing that Swiss said that stuck with me was that, I mean, it's a, it's, a million, it's a million people out here doing what I'm doing, but not everybody's special. You feel me? It's, it's, it's a select few of us. Uh, we can call them the chosen ones. And um, yes, that's really what stuck with me, for real, for real. All gold, everything was popping, all that shit. And I was at the table. And they were just like, you know what I'm saying? What make you different? What you, what you doing? You ain't got no no uh, spikes on your shoulder. You ain't got, you know what I'm saying? Just coming at me on some on some wild shit. Just saying all this shit, I'm looking like, oh, okay. I'm looking at her, but I'm attacked already. So she I'm looking, looking back. At, she looking back. She like, looking yeah, back. Like, you already? Like, we about to drive off with these yeah. motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? She yeah. looking back like this. I'm like, yo. After I put it out, man, my life changed. I came from being a nobody to people crying when they see me. People chasing me. People faint. I came from not getting handshakes and fives to people giving me bear hugs. So one thing I, I advise them to do is just stay humble and stay patient. And you know, just stay down until you come up, you're gonna get, get your turn. Everybody had their season. Just a matter how bad you want it and how hard you work.